We are a wash in politics 24-7, 365. Democrats, Republicans, Libertarians, Independents. But here's the biggest problem with our political system today. As we head towards another presidential election, most of America has no idea about politics. They don't know what they mean, don't know what they say, don't really have an idea about the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence. Quite often, it's just being handed to us at talking points. And we're falling for it. This means education, something we all need. Our next guest took a hiatus from Hollywood in 2003. He started a nonprofit to promote civics education in American schools. Make the kids understand and appreciate civics, elections, and politics. So it's a distinct pleasure. Let's welcome to the hardline Richard Dreyfus. Richard, congratulations on what you're doing. I think it's long overdue, and you've been doing this since 2003. But what I just said is true, is it not? Many times when we hear things about the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, we're just spitting out talking points, and many times we have no idea what they mean because we've not been educated about them. We have no idea about the meaning of this country, and this country does have meaning and can be taught. We don't teach it. And the problem is that now there's a clock on us, and that is that ISIS is coming. And I'm not joking. ISIS is coming to the United States, and it's already hit in Tennessee. What are we going to do when ISIS causes some incredible catastrophe, like walking into Disney World with 45 handguns and killing a thousand children? Are we going to consider only a military option to, a, con to a, 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 a foe that crosses national lines? What are we going to do? We don't train ourselves to run the country well. The present state of running the country, the politicians of today, we have no faith in, we have no belief in, and the ones that will come after will be even um, more uneducated and politics has become a step down. We can't continue that way or else we will be history. What don't we get about this? Are we just destined to be lemmings following what we're told or are we simply just so wrapped up in watching what the Kardashians do on a day-to-day -day basis and checking out our cell phones that we're not smart enough? Look, I can't believe that we're not a smart country, but it sure seems that way. I think that we're too um, much the victims of special interests who have local goals so that they can't see the forest for the trees. There's corporations or belief systems or whoever that think in terms of this far and we get so crowded with things like that we can't see the long term and the long term is what we have to consider. You have to remember this, the, com the relationship that you and I are having right now, the conversation, seems normal. Mm -hmm. It's only 250 years old, and in all the years of civilization before that, no one ever had a conversation like this, except in whispers, okay? So for the entire history of mankind, no one ever had an open conversation about politics until now, and it's in the blink of an eye, and it can go away like that. How do we then, you and I, and specifically through what you're doing with the Civics Initiative, convince people that they are not powerless, that they have a voice, and that they can break through this, this maze, if you will, this fog of nothing more than lies and rhetoric? They have to get together. They have to get parents and superintendents and school principals and authors of history and authors of social comment all together, every civic organization in the United States, and there are hundreds of them, all should be under one umbrella, wanting one thing, no matter what the details of differences are. There should be one cultural demand, not for a class called civics, but for a perception on America and the ideals it represents. We were known as the only nation in history that was connected only by ideas, and if those ideas are not taught, we're not bound, and we're not, because those ideas of the Enlightenment that back up the Bill of Rights are not being taught to us. 30 seconds, Richard. Is the current spate of politicians doing more damage than good? Yes.
They're doing more damage than good. <laughs> <laughs> They're funnier. They're far funnier than in the past. <laughs> okay, now yeah. you've opened the door. I've got to ask then, when you look at them, who's the funniest one that you see or the one that gives you the most entertainment? Well, at the moment, uh, <laughs> I'm waiting for Donald Trump and his hair to both uh, an announce separate candidacies. And uh, I don't know, the Democrats are beginning to look like Gloria Swanson in Sunset <laughs> Boulevard. So they're all pretty nutty, and I wouldn't trust them with my wallet, much less my, the future of my children. I'm going to tell you what then. We want people to then trust Richard Dreyfus with the DreyfusInitiative.org. Go there because it's a brilliant idea. We need more education. Richard, it's been an absolute pleasure. Good luck. I hope we help you pass the message along many, many times more. Stay with us, everybody. The fastest 60 minutes in news continues.